A former college football player is recovering after a massive surgery, one that could be a game changer for other patients with stomach and esophageal cancers. In today's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow shows us how teamwork made it possible. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Cancer was not the diagnosis Jim Foltz expected, but he's approached it all with a positive attitude and an entire team behind him. Sometimes things just stick, like a high school nickname. What's up, big dog? It's your boy Hutch. Or a friendship forged on the gridiron. We're all rooting for you. We're all here for you. You know anything you need, we got your back. Jim Foltz found his support system while playing offensive tackle at Fitchburg State in Massachusetts. More than a decade later, he'd need their video messages of encouragement when facing the toughest opponent yet, cancer. The former football player in me comes out and just tackle it head on, take it as it comes. In 2019, this former lineman suddenly lost his appetite and over the course of several months, nearly 100 pounds. A trip to the doctor revealed a large tumor. It was quite extensive and went all the way up the esophagus and all the way down the stomach and then invaded into his pancreas and went into the main artery that feeds all of the organs in the upper abdomen. At University of Missouri Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center, a team of physicians was uniquely qualified to help. In 2007, Dr. Kevin Stavely O'Carroll and his colleagues pioneered a procedure to remove both the esophagus and stomach. Now they were prepared to go even further, removing much of Jim's pancreas and the celiac artery as well. We'd never done this operation together, all of those things. In June, over the course of 20 hours, four surgeons removed the tumor and involved organs, constructing a new esophagus out of colon and a new stomach out of small intestine. We all work together as a team and, and uh, we, we strengthen uh, ourselves by doing this. After nine days, Jim took his first sip of water. Soon after, he walked out of the hospital with a little encouragement from an NFL superstar, former Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly, a cancer survivor himself. You know, keep fighting. Never, ever give up. And we, as football players, never give up. Jim hasn't given up, taking daily walks to rebuild his strength. He's still undergoing radiation, but doctors say there is no evidence of disease. It's amazing the work that they've done and just how quickly I've recovered from it. And he'll be forever grateful to the teammates who never let him quit. Unusual feelings of fullness and unexpected.